Welcome back for the next video in the Fantasy Cruncher tutorial series. CJ here, going to show you what to do to crunch lineups, to get yourself those lineups that you're going to need to enter those contests. So, I've uploaded my projections into Fantasy Cruncher. I have all my options and settings done, as you've seen in the prior tutorial videos. If you haven't watched them, go watch them. So now we're going to get to the part where you build lineups. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fire 300 lineups, and I just picked tonight's slate. And you know, just again, this is this is after the fact, so you can see an act. There won't be an actual category when you do it, uh, but I'm just doing this after after a slate. So I'm actually in lineup rewind, um, hopping in here, but. Figured it was the best way to show you all the tools instead of the three game slate that was coming up next. All right, so now that I got my 300 teams, uh, the first thing you can do is you got this actions button right here. Um, so you can save a crunch, duplicate a crunch. You can create an empty crunch. This is great if you want to move some teams around. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create an empty crunch. And now I can go ahead and move teams. So first I'm going to sort by my projected points like so. And then I'm going to decide to move, let's just say that I'm playing a 20 max, right? So I'm going to move my top 20 teams over. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, select lineups and I'm going to select none of them. So I'm going to unselect all of them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count down to, to 50 so, or 20. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So now I'm going to hit the check mark button and you can select all the lineups above below or unselect them all. So here I'm going to select them all. So that's going to give me 20 teams. I'm going to go to the select lineup button and now I can move these 20 teams to that crunch I just created. So boom, those 20 teams are now gone. They are in this crunch over here. This is great to help you figure out what teams you're putting in which contests. So if you have a 20 max that you want to throw these teams into, you can look at what your top 20 teams have. Again, it's pretty simple to move them back have them all selected I can just move them all back to crunch number two so again you can use that button in a whole lot of different ways if you want to look at the grid this is in beta you can go ahead and look at it in grid format this is kind of what you would see in lineup study if you want to look at them this way you can do that as well I'm gonna go ahead and move back to the cards so you can add more teams here by just clicking the go button and that will just add three team, 10 more teams. If you needed extra teams for some reason, uh, you delete some teams, you don't like some teams, you take a player out, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, you can select the lineups again, and we talked about it. you can move, copy, delete. You can sort your lineups by a whole different lot of things. You can sort it by ownership, salary, ceiling, floor. This won't be there, but projections, order produced, all of that. And then you got the export button. You export this, we'll send it to a CSV. Now, if you want to delete a certain player and re-crunch, let's just say that I wise up and go, I don't want any Gordon Hayward or Kemba Walker because I have a magic eight ball and they're going to do quite terrible. No problem, you exit out. And then again, the next 300 teams you run will have no Kemba and Gordon Hayward. And again, too, you can obviously replace certain players here. So let's just say I don't want to play Robert Covington. I could swap it out for any player here. Like to say I want to swap it out for Marcus Morris, it would swap out Marcus Morris. You can do that within it, within one. You can delete a player totally, or you can just global swap once you log in or load this up to DraftKings or whatever site you're playing on. Uh, once you do this, you can go sort by position. And let's just say I want to get rid of the DeJounte Murray teams. I can sort by the DeJounte Murray teams, and I can just go ahead and delete them all. Uh, so again, you can kind of just go through and delete the teams you don't want manually, or you can go ahead and try to do them as a group. Just to say you wanted to get rid of the bottom 40 again. So again, I would just you could just unselect them all. Scroll down, just be like, I want to get rid of these next 100. So um, that looks like about 100. Again, you could sele uh, select all the lineups below and then just delete them all. That's only 38. But again, that's how you can gr remove groups really quickly in, out, just based on what you're looking to do. And then you, you export it for the slate you want. You get a CSV. You log on to your DraftKings account and upload it. Doesn't get any simpler than that. That's it. That's really all you got to do to create a crunch. So, but a lot of the work goes ahead of time, right? You know, we talked about all those rules, all those settings. 
and yeah this part obviously there are things you can do you can create extra rules more things along those lines but if you do all the work up here in the rules section and in, in your advanced options the actual making of the teams can go quite simple and quite easily so again that's it this is the crunching aspect of it and again too you can sort by other things as well um, FC projections highest ceiling highest average ownership projections don't really ever do that I just sort by my projections hundred percent of the time but it's totally optional you could go ahead and sort it that way as well if you were doing something some review or you're looking to find some more ceiling GPP teams you can go ahead and use uh, the ceiling default that actually is it for the crunching video um, Late Swap Optimizer has been covered by uh, Manny, so check that out. We have that tutorial already up. Again, if you've got any questions, Fantasy Cruncher Discord, best place to go. You can link your account by going to account my profile. You'll see right there it says Twitch, uh, link account, and you'll be ready to go. All you need is a Fantasy Cruncher sub. So um, if you're watching this video, probably have one. Uh, so check that out as well. With that, guys, we'll see you for the next set of tutorials.